Oh, so cold. But maybe we'll catch a glimpse of the limos. Let's go down here. Hey guys. So we're down in Foggy Bottom. Shit. Lock my car. Now yeah, I'm said a bad word. I have to edit that out. Hey, how's it going? Ah, so cold. So the president and the vice president and three former presidents are currently just over the river in Arlington Cemetery. And then they're going to make their way to the White House. And if I'm, uh, yeah, I can walk freely. And I think, I think they're going to drive down this road that's just ahead of me. <laughs> so let's go see. Not pretty quiet. So this is the city's backup ambulance service. This is not the official fire department service. This is a backup ambulance. I am moving to HAPS. I'm going to be on HAPS at 5.30 tonight, having a roundtable discussion. But uh, right now, because I'm walking, I opted to use Periscope because of the image stabilization. I know a lot of you guys get upset about the bounciness. Oh, there's a bunch of troops down there. Wow, it's cold. Much colder than it was yesterday. Uh, it's very windy. Yeah, we decided not to go. Um, and it was mainly because we were lazy. <laughs> we were lazy because, you know, when you go to another house, you have to have like another another gallon of milk, and you got to have another loaf of bread, and then you got to have enough food, and you got to do this, and you got to do that. And we're just like, Ugh, I don't feel like dealing with all that. No, they won't walk. Too much of a threat. Too many threats, I should say. I don't know if we can get through this intersection. We'll find out. We could the other day. This guy looks like a cop. Poet was pretty nice, yeah. They could have come up here. Huh. Live and learn. I haven't been stopped. Um, I haven't, I haven't, uh, yeah, I was stopped yesterday. I just wasn't allowed to go through a gate. But, I mean, it wasn't like they grabbed me and said, what are you doing? They just said, I'm sorry, sir, this gate's closed. So. Mm. A lot of these guys are inside their cars, inside their trucks. That's a gourd. Not fast enough. When will they dismantle the fences? Not fast enough. We're, we're pretty sick of them here in DC. So the road restrictions are gonna be lifted tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. The bridges will reopen the roads, but honestly, it's gonna take a week, at least a week to get all the fences take, picked up. So I think they'll do it in priority on major roads first. You know, I think they'll keep some of it. That's the thing about security stuff. It's so cold. Da. <laughs> Twenty eighth Infantry Division. There are no protesters anywhere. I haven't seen any, but I've just got, just came out. I just literally got out. There is a protest zone 
there's a free speech zone set up down by the archives or a first amendment zone as they say yeah they did inaugurate 10 minutes early that's because trump trump issued a pardon with like 30 minutes left in his administration he pardoned like one more guy at the last second so that's the state department haps h-a-p-p-s oh crap we got limos coming in from am i missing them Oh, I don't know if I'm too late. Just police cars. So we're scurrying now to see Biden in this thing. Um, free speech zone is an area where protests are authorized because so much of the street is closed off to official them. They go ahead and authorize certain areas for protesters. Now, if basic Google Maps are correct, the president should come over this road. No, mostly politicians. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to get close to him or if we'll just have to see it off in the distance. That's the Lincoln Memorial. He pardoned some political person's husband who was like a tax evader in New York. Oh, crap. I wonder if I can go that way. We're going to see how close we can get. That's that's actually a 9-11 retaining wall. That wall's been there forever. The riot fence retaining wall is coming up ahead. And that's the new addition. I don't know if we can get up to the fence or not. closed. We'll see. No, they're going to... Okay, so the vice president and the president and the three former presidents are currently at Andrews Air and the Arlington Cemetery, which is just over the river from the Lincoln Memorial. Then they're going to take a car and go back to the White House, where they're going to have a uh, pass and review the military is going to march past the White House in a small ceremony. And this is like, this is a big traditional thing that they have the military march and they have like a specific order. So like, I believe the first element will be a cadets from the West Point, since they're like one of the oldest military units. Or whatever. Hey Chantel, how you doing? That's just a plane from the Reagan airports just down the street. Oh, we can get on this fence. Great, great, great. So he's over there right now. It's a tradition that the new president will have um, have a lunch with the Congress. I think it was a pretty short lunch today. You guys wanted me to get up the fence because we'll be able to see him from here. Because the Lincoln Memorial is over there. He'll be coming. His cars will be coming there. But I wanted to get closer to the fence line so you guys can get a better view. They didn't have a lunch or they had a tea or something. For those who didn't watch the ceremony, I do at least recommend watching the, the poet laureate give her poem. It was a very moving reading. And she did it very well. For Interesting, she actually has a speech impediment. There were certain words she never knew how to pronounce or whatever. So she gave this poem and it was quite, quite well done. So. We're up against the riot fences now, and I think we've got movement coming soon. The cops are all along the fence. There's the FEMA trailers. Yeah, she's 22, 23 years old, and uh, it was a. Uh, it's definitely worth something to see. So we do have some other people down here. I think we're going to get a good view of his car. <laughs> If you guys are watching on CNN or Fox News, you can tell me if he's still at Arlington. Once he gets in the car, it'll only be about two or three minutes to get back here. Everything is closed down. 
So all those lights and flags closed down. Yeah, I saw she she finished it off. Oh, so. I think we'll go up. A lot of there's a few people here. Oh, this will be a good view. I'm the only one live streaming. Oh wow. Oh, it's cold as heck. in route I, I would think that too because we've got so much police activity right now and I would think they would come this way you see a parade of cars Oh, Goodman was a police officer. Yeah, that's right. He's the cop who, uh, oh, it's cold as hell, who led the protester rioters away from the senators who were hiding in a room. He sort of distracted them. I see movement. I see him. So, get your comments up. They're coming. Let me see them. So they're coming from over there. I think they're coming this way. Oh, there's the cars. You can see them. Here they come. Oh, they're going that way. Oh, they're going that way? Are they going to turn? They should turn. If they don't turn, I'm going to be really annoyed. I always see Sam. I never know where to get Oh, this is not them. This is... And they went a different way. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Psych. So that was a, uh, that was like a former president or something. <laughs> They're en route, but the first batch of cars went up that street. They didn't come down the street, which is strange since this whole street is fully loaded out with people. And if you go that way, it's kind of, you know, maybe they are going to go that way. What is it? They're going at a walking pace, yeah. yeah. I can't believe they would go that other way. How many journalists are around me? No, but there's just people. <laughs> just a smattering of people. Yeah, that was like, that other group of cars was something else. Man. Put my hand back on. So Arlington Cemetery is right over there. Hey, but I can't see anything right now. Hey. The last batch of cars didn't come down this road. Hmm. Yeah, all those major networks have bureaus here. They should, 
I'm judging because they have the fence up. This is the way they would bring the cars, but they may go a different route. We'll see. Oh, look for the helicopter. So usually when the president moves, there's a police helicopter flying overhead. I don't see it at the moment, which is odd. Um, wh whoa, they're on a street? Did they sneak in? Are they on a city street or are they on like a road? And do you see motorcycles? City street, shoot. How could they have gotten over here without... That might be... Maybe they got some other group. We saw one batch of cars, but that wasn't a presidential motorcade. That was a very small motorcade. Nothing moved They're on a city street. They could still be at Arlington. Have they gone over a big bridge? They would have to go over a bridge to get here. Yeah, he's still at Arlington. Okay, so we're still good. Oof. I got my other glove back on because it was so cold. 15th and F to Pennsylvania? Hmm. What are you looking at? Oh, shoot. I wonder. They've not left Arlington. Because they could have gone around and got into the front, but I thought they were going straight to the White House. There's a bunch of National Guard troops over there. There's a parade. Are they in the parade? Because I thought they were at. The, I thought the parade would start, but then they would be at the White House to watch it. Yes, they they're replacing all the carpets at the White House. Small, we saw the small motorcade leave Arlington 10 minutes ago, but that was uh, not a presidential level motorcade. So the parade is in the street, and then they go past the White House. No, I think Biden is just going to stand and review at the, uh, at the White House. So, does anyone see the president's limos? Oh, so you think he's already at the parade route. They could be waiting for the president. Don't know which way he would go, though. If he would come down the street or not. I'm judging by the heavy police presence they come this way. Oh, oh, I hear a helicopter. He's not at Blair House anymore. He's on TV in Arlington, okay. I hear the Park Police Eagle, which is the Park Police's helicopter, and that'll fly over him. The question is, will he come down this road to get to the parade, or will he go on the other side of the mall? He could do the other side. I hope he doesn't, but he could. If he does that, I'll try to get him over to the White House. He's still at Arlington. Okay, thanks. Um, we're at the National Science Foundation right now. NSF, that's uh, Albert Einstein. This is the NFS, NSF headquarters. Oh, the sun's coming out. Ah, it's bright. At the turn? Hmm. There is a big turn down on Pennsylvania Avenue. F and 15th. Yeah, that's the, probably the start of the parade. It's going to be a short parade if it's a 15th and F. But the question is, well, how will he get to 15th and F? He could come here and then go over to 15th, or he could loop around the other side of the mall, which would disappoint all these people.
after this, we're going to walk over there, but I don't know how close we'll get to the White House. Now, in a normal inaugural, this street would be lined with people. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, we got a few moments. We can go look at Albert Einstein statue. It's too cold. I have an extra cable. I just realized I have a cable hanging out of my pocket, which has got to be like the most suspicious thing in the world today. So this is the Albert Einstein statue here at the National Science Foundation. A lot of kids like to come and climb on this thing in the summertime when there's no COVID. But today, not so much. The parade is waiting. We're waiting too. We're cold. Well, it is like a museum. The Einstein Memorial. Okay. Well, we'll go back over here because I think this will be a better position. I hope. It's just military, I think. Military and then two bands. Oh, I heard an explosion. Probably a cannon or something, or a big truck. Oh, there's a cannon's fire. No, I've not been frisked or stopped. That was two cannons. Three. Cars are moving? Okay. So they're firing off a cannon salute as he leaves Arlington Cemetery. I can hear the cannons. He's going to walk one block? Okay, well, we'll see if he comes this way. That's the big... So that's the cannons as he leaves. So I really hope he comes this way. Otherwise, I'm going to be very annoyed. So Arlington Cemetery is just over there. You can hear the cannon thump in the background. I thought he drove a Trans Am. Right? The parade's going well. Yeah, Arlington's got a bunch of traffic circles to get around to get over here. The question is, does he go that side of the monument or does he come this side? If he comes this side, we're in for a treat. If he goes the other side, we stood here for nothing. <laughs> so what you guys should see is the car should go around a big traffic circle and then it'll go on to Memorial Bridge heading towards the Lincoln Memorial. And from the Lincoln Memorial, then we'll have to just see which way he comes or goes. If they go down that side street or if they come this way, we're not sure. There are mounted police officers, but they're more patrolling in the grassy areas over there rather than the roads. See the cannon? Yeah, the bridge has been closed for two days since yesterday. Even the day before that, they closed that bridge. Still hear cannons. Uh. Uh. Ooh. My, hand, my hand is cold and I'm wearing gloves. <laughs> I feel sorry for these cops, they're freezing. What are we up to, like 15, 16? I lost track. I think they're done. Oh, there's one. Nope, there's another one. <laughs> I like cannons. Who doesn't like a cannon? That'll be a 21 gun salute. Yeah, they basically, they told us not to come. They told nobody to come and they locked off huge areas. So these are just local people who live in the area. Oh, I see this police car coming. Let's see where this police car goes. I can 
clear this road out or are they going to come down that other road? Cars coming out on the bridge. Thank you for the updates. Okay, we got a car coming this way. Let's see if they clear this road. It's just a van. Yep, they're clearing this road. That's a good sign. Oh, no, they turned. Oh, crap, they're turning over there. Oh, crap. Now they're blocking this road. Oh, then that would mean they're coming this way, maybe. They're sort of tensing up over here. There's an undercover, there's a Secret Service agent in a suit. cruiser and a van. Secret Service. Probably a press van. The way to the bridge. Okay. The Beast. Yeah, that's the nickname for the president's car. The Beast. Oh, I see lights on the bridge. I see lights on the bridge. I see a lot of lights on the bridge. We're getting our second camera out now. Yeah, it's a, it's a double convoy. So it's a presidential convoy, vice president, and then uh, back up all the other old presidents. So you guys are probably seeing a lot of cars. Here they come. They're coming this way, too. Here they come. Set everybody off the fence. Off the fence, I guess. <laughs> All right, guys. Here come the first cars. I'm using an iPhone 12, but I have a lapel mic, a microphone called the lapel mic, a Rode uh, laver mic, which is right up on my uh, chest with a wind microphone. I'm going to drop this glove here. Here come all the war wagons. Is this the beast? No motorcycles. No, I think the motorcycles are the second unit. I think this is just a security unit. Yeah, I found I need a wind mic. These are just police cars. I see the motorcycles in the second unit. This might be the old, former president's. So there goes the first batch of cars. Uh, yes, he's coming. He's coming. The motorcycles are coming. Press. That's the press car. They usually have, see the, the rack on the top? They sometimes have a camera guy standing on the top. Ah, the first lead presidential escort motorcycle. Guys, now's the time to share the video if you want. Oh, my son better not call me. Please don't call. I will go to Haps and Twitter Live and YouTube. We're heading to the White House. This is a huge convoy. This is one of the longest motorcades I've ever seen.
Here we go, there's Beast. I think I see Beast. Beast 1 and Beast 2. This is a massive convoy. I see the American flag on a car. There it is, the presidential flag. I think he's waving. That's him. He's waved, he waved. Another one. Former presidents, maybe. And another one's four beasts. He did wave. Five, six, seven. Now comes support vehicles. That's the communication vehicle. That's the war fighters. These are the uh, these are the World War III fighting trucks. War White House Communications Agency. And then this is like the press, Secret Service teams. Another comms truck. They're accelerating. Oh shoot, something just happened. I lost the connection, that sucks. More war trucks. My God, I can't begin to tell you how many cars are behind this one. They're peeling out, there goes, there's the war wagon. That's an ambulance. Now these are, Here comes a second motorcade of police motorcycles. Oh, my arms are tired. <laughs> I think this is the vice president. Yeah, this is Kamala. This is the vice president. She has a white flag on her car. I have no idea how tired my arms are. So this is the Vice President, Kamala Harris. The white flag is the Vice President's flag. Yeah, I just got a citizen alert. Something happened down the street. I don't know what it was. Oh, my God. You know that punishment they do where they make you hold your arms up for like 10 minutes or something? <laughs> yeah, that's what's, that's what's going on right now. It's, we've had my hands up for like six minutes now. The signal went again as the jammer cars go by. Uh, I think they've got uh, electromagnetic interference cars to blow up any IEDs or anything. Oh. Guys, I have a second camera filming all of this. This will go on my YouTube channel, Penguin 6. YouTube channel, Penguin 6. I will have this up a little bit later today. Woo! What, what a massive convoy. I've never seen one this long. Yay! All done. Woo! Oh. <laughs> oh. Let's go for a walk. Whew. That was 
The phone went dead. I think that's the jammer trucks. Oh, wow. There is a uh, speed, there's a gate there. There's a pop-up. One of those things that pops up if they want to close access to the road. My God. My arms are killing me. <laughs> Oh, that was my workout for the day. Hold your arms straight up for seven minutes. I wish I would have had a better view of the stupid fence. Should have brought a selfie stick. Saw where I was on TV? Oh, okay. See a guy with his arms up in the air. That was me. Dang. Oh, dang. I need, a, I need a, some lunch. I should have stood up against the fence. Do I see the motorcade? You just missed it. <laughs> yes, we saw the motorcade. I will be posting a video on YouTube, Penguin 6, uh, soon, so you guys can all see it as well. Uh, you just got here. Uh, well, when I'm done with this video, start it over, you'll see the entire motorcade. It's one of the longest motorcades I've ever seen in Washington, because it was, uh, pre there were, how many were there, seven or eight limousines? Something like that. Oh, God, my kids are screaming. Hang on. Hang on a second, let me just text him. Sending a message to my kid. No, they're far away in the distance. Whew. How close are oh, more cars going by? Um, the White House is even with the Washington Monument there. I'm not going to be able to get much closer though because I'm hidden in it. So we, we leave the police area and we go into the National Guard area up ahead. 46. None of the people have been approved by the Senate yet. So here you see some national, all the cars. So there's some National Guard guys. Let's go down this way. So the White House is over there. I'm not going to be able to get anywhere near it, I don't think. Ooh, it's cold. So this is, uh, what is this, 20th Street, 19th or 20th? And the White House is at 16th. Uh, the White House staff 
I don't know if they actually have a swearing in, to be honest. Now, the president's cabinet, which is the different cabinet secretaries, they have to be approved by the Senate. Now, the White House is, you know, Biden's private staff, they can, if, the, if they have a swearing in, that can be done right away. In fact, I think some of them have probably already been put in place uh, at the White House for security reasons. That's because they told everyone not to come here. They turned off the subways. The only reason I was able to get here is I live up the street. So they specifically told everyone, do not come to the inaugural. They turned off the subways. 13 subway stations are shut, as well as 12 square kilometers. Four, four or five square miles are shut down, and no, nobody's allowed on the mall. So... The press secretary, I heard her, I've never heard of her, who she is. I, I saw that he had named one, and she's having a press conference tonight at like 7.30 or something like that. Oh, Chris, you got stuck. Oh, did I go up here the other day? This is a dead end. There is a dead end up here. That's a dead end. I went down that way yesterday. Ducks. So we'll go around. Anyway, so we got some of the limousines. Ugh. From behind a riot fence. No, the subways are still running. It's just the stations downtown, the 13 stations downtown, are all empty. So they're running, they run trains through the stations, but they don't stop. So if you want to take the subway, you have to get off quite a, like a mile or two away and walk. It's funny, if you want to, want to see what it's like, pull up Washington DC on Google Maps and then click the traffic button, the traffic button, and you'll see the shutdown extent. It's just this sea of red in downtown DC on the Google Maps. Yeah, there's a press conference tonight. I don't know, there's no no supporters down here. But there might be some down by the uh, archives because that's where they're allowed to protest. But you gotta remember, Washington, D.C. is 93% Democrats, so it's not like there's a lot of folks around here. I think the nearest county that went for Trump is probably about 40 miles away. out in like Southern Maryland or out in Virginia. Not even the inner circle of the counties, not the collar suburban counties, but the farther exurbs, rural counties. Well, DC is, yeah, DC is a 93% Democrat. That's why they'll, that's why DC statehood is such a contentious issue. The Republicans are like, give D.C. a state, no, you're giving them two senators. I mean, it's just automatic. Democrats get two senators. So that's why they've been fighting statehood so much. Fuck here? I don't even know if that's far enough. Maybe. I think like St. Mary's County or Calvert County in Maryland or some of the counties over on the eastern shore or far west up by like West Virginia. So the White House is right over there, folks. <sighs> I'm not gonna be able to get very close. There's cops everywhere. I tried to get through that barrier the other day. It didn't work. But we did get to see the motorcade. That was kind of cool. guarding the Starbucks. I think his buddy went in for a pee because he's got two weapons. So he's got two guns. Hey, England. Oh. 
The weapons are unloaded. But I see magazines in their vest. I guess. <laughs> it's like I gotta take a peek. That's like all the famous photos, because like in Israel, the soldiers carry weapons all the time. Civilians carry weapons. And you see like guys in a Starbucks with like AR-15s and M4s. And it's like I saw a picture of a guy in the Apple store slung over him. No homeless. Oh, no, no, no. That's all homeless back there. I hear things about Holly. That whole area back there is filled with homeless. I just was focusing on the guns and the cops. You didn't really see them, but yeah, there's a bunch of homeless there. Down in the city, because they all got pushed out. They got pushed out of the city core, and now they're here on the edges. They set up tents and everything. I know a lot of you worry about me. You think I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna die, but it's actually because I'm wearing a mask and it makes my voice sound much raspier. Like I am freaking. <laughs> So the building you see at the end of the street, that's the old executive office building. That's the building next to the White House. That's where the president's staff is going to be. That today probably is full of Trumpies, to be honest, who are moving out. While there is a lot of political animosity, you have to understand there's also a lot of stuff that just has to get done. It just literally has to get done and so the trump people at a very low level the staffers have to work with the biden people on just simple basics yeah like oh like okay you know like this is a this is a case we're working on there's a there's a soldier who's over in iraq we need to get him home because his mom's sick and we need to arrange a special flight with the pentagon so the Trump staff will talk to the Biden staff. They'll work it out together. Say, can you take care of this case? They're like, we've got it. It's ours. Great. Next case. Da, da, da. And they go through all sorts of these little stuff. Well, I mean, there are a lot of people at a political level who have that. But, you know, at another level, there's, there's just a lot of work that has to get done. And so there are some people that just, you know, they sort of just clench their teeth and say, okay, I don't really like you, but we got to talk about this and this and this. Okay. And then, of course, um, I don't have any patches on my shoulder, but I do, have been recognized. Most of the guys down here at 28th Infantry Division out of Pennsylvania, they have the uh, Keystone patch. And then there's, like, especially national security stuff. It said, like, when Obama took office, the first his first presidential level intelligence briefing, he almost threw up. He was just so floored by the threats that were ongoing and the stuff that they were currently pursuing. You know, it was the middle of Iraq and Afghanistan. He was just like, oh my God. <laughs> and those briefings are going on. Biden is being briefed today on stuff that he was not being briefed about yesterday. So, and there'll be a lot of those. Then there is a meeting. I think he's he's probably already had one where they go up to him and they show him a credit card. A credit card with 10 numbers. And they ask him, which number do you want? And which line of these 10 numbers do you want? And he'll say, line four, line six, line eight. They're like, thank you, Mr. President. And that's it. And that line is the code that he will use to launch the missiles for authentication. This is George Washington University. This is very peaceful because the students aren't here and aren't protesters. Oh, the Sword and Triangle. That one, I didn't get a chance to look that one up. You know, it reminded me. That reminds me. I'm going to look that one up. You know, I think, I think it might be some DC National Guard because it might not have been a sword it might have been the Washington Monument with a couple triangles over it um, but yeah thanks for the problem was the video I made yesterday got deleted by my stupid kid 
who was like, Daddy, turn on my Xbox. Yeah, we're having intermittent signal issues, especially because of the thing. But I did YouTube. I did save everything for YouTube, guys. We're going to get a good YouTube out of this. Penguin 6. Yeah, see, if you see the video I uploaded to YouTube yesterday, it wasn't really the best quality because I had to download the stream. I'm at war with YouTube because some guy... Ugh, you guys remember a couple days ago I went for a scooter ride around all the National Guard? Yeah? Some guy stole my Periscope stream, uploaded it to his channel, and then filed a copyright strike against me for uploading my video. Yeah? He's like, this is my video. This Penguin 6 guy stole it from me. So YouTube took my video down. And now I'm like fighting a contest. Like, what? Yeah. So because... Because this dude in Yemen, yeah, Yemen, decided to upload one of my Periscope streams, he blocked my video, which had had like 11,000 views. Yeah. So I now have a copyright strike, which I am appealing, but because this guy stole my video and uploaded it and then filed a copyright strike against me, it's like, what the hell? <laughs> so... Now, under, and he filed, he said, he like said, I have a legal claim, so I have like, have to wait 10 days before, uh, before I can get my video back. I mean, it's just, it's just annoying. And I, I mean, this, this kind of stuff happens to all the big YouTubers, you know, like Casey Neistat, or Pokemon, or the Sidemen, or any of those guys. They make a video, and then some kid files, like, copyright strike, and then that video's offline. And it's just like, oh, come on. Hopefully they will ban this guy. He's got, like, a bunch of Yemenese sitar music on his channel, and then suddenly he started, he started like, capturing periscopes from people and then putting them on his channel. It's just like... So filing a false copyright is a bannable offense. So I'm going to push YouTube to do that. I know who he is, yeah, but uh, just annoying as hell. It's like I go out hours and hours in the cold to make these videos just to have some fun and put them up and then I have to get accused of stealing it. It's like, what? <sighs> so guys, we can't go any closer to the White House and besides yeah, John Ho had his Twitter hacked. I actually want to go home and catch what's left on the TV. Guys, I'm going to be doing a pair, I'm going to be doing a HAPS broadcast tonight at 5.30. HAPS. H-A-P-P-S, which is the new Periscope-like app. And we're going to be talking about live streaming. I'll be with Chantel TV from France and several other big streamers. Oh, he is walking. That's good. And if I can just, I mean, this is really not political. Please watch the poem. The Poet Laureate's, her speech was just, it was just really well done for a 22-year-old kid with the eyes of the world watching her to deliver a poem that she wrote. I mean, it was really well done. It's like one of the highlights of the inauguration ceremony. And uh, I will stream on Periscope Twitter until it goes away. I'll keep streaming on Twitter. But we're going to add some other things like Haps and YouTube and Twitch even. Try to spread it out a bit. I don't want to get wedded to any one platform too much. They seem to always die away. Yeah, it's on YouTube already, I'm sure. Whew. So guys, I tell you, you know what? I'm going to take you one more block. Normally, I'd close it off with the truck, but I want to show you something special, especially you folks in the UK. You guys might get a kick out of this in the UK. So it's just one more block down here. Yeah, she was like still working on it when the what the January 6th happened. She stayed up very late to finish her poem that night, adding a few bars and lines. It's interesting, I said she had a speech impediment. She had certain words and sounds she has difficulty saying. I think poetry was a way to help her. So we're just about to show, but, but especially you UK broadcasters, or UK sellers, where is the center of the world? Zero degrees longitude. And where's zero degree longitude? In Greenwich in London. But before it was in London, 
many countries had their own prime meridians because every country was the center of the world, of course. The United States was no exception. And this is it. This is the American Meridian. And on the left side of me, the American Meridian, on the left side is the uh, Atlantic Hemisphere, and the right side is the Pacific. So we have Eastern and Western Hemispheres it used to be divided on this very line. It wasn't until the United States and, like, was it 1884, that's when they accepted the Greenwich Prime Meridian. But for a while, this was the center of the Earth. Anyway, guys, I'll leave you with that little view, the American Meridian. Thanks a lot for watching this. I'll catch you guys on YouTube. Penguin 6, where I'll be uploading very soon. All right, talk to you later. 